What is going on fellow fans of Clash of Clans? Thank you guys for stopping by. We're talking about custom grass today. And now I put a video out about the ancient barbarian statue and the old barbarian statue that you can find and buy in your builder's hall village. And now suddenly people have decided with a little bit of encouragement from me, the fact that they can create artistic designs with grass instead of with walls. So in turn, I'm receiving a lot of tweets at Galadon Gaming. Keep them coming, by the way, and follow me on Twitter. Okay, I'm getting a lot of tweets about your grass creations. So I wanted to share some of them today and uh, show you the cool stuff that I've seen. And of course, give away a gift card to the best ones so far. Now, I kind of like this one a lot. Kind of an unusual shape, but I definitely like the idea of integrating other decorations with the grass. So it's not just the grass that's going on. Now, also, this one looks kind of like the video I put out. A very plain but kind of cool looking block of grass. And, of course, in the meantime, we're taking a look at some replays from Night Mode Clash. That is one of the top... Builder base clans and Clash of Clans. I just happen to be there myself right now. Uh, here's another one from Charles. I like this one, the bat symbol. Maybe this was for Adam West, but I thought that was very cool. And again, integrating the stone path and the pine trees, a great idea. Also, check out this mass dragon attack from Yusef. He waits and drops the battle machine at the very end, and it's almost going to grab him three star. Really felt like it was going to be mass dragons all over the place, but luckily we haven't seen that too much. Next up, the goose drops one for me on Twitter. I like this one. A few other people did as well. I love the checkerboard pattern and the integration of walls in there. Risking it with your village, but obviously you can always have an alternate build to have set up when you're not doing battle. So there's the end of Yusef's attack. 94% mass dragon. We will move on to a few more replays as we look at a few more interesting grass layouts. This attack comes to us courtesy of Double Down, who has several high-level accounts in the clan. He's also a Twitch streamer, so make sure you guys check out Double Down with a 3 right there. All right, next grass layout. And hey, one of my personal favorites because it's a G for Galadon. Thank you, Brutus, for the G-shaped grass right there. Loving this, and I'm definitely loving the letters. I like that idea. I hope to see more of that from you guys in future tweets at Galadon Gaming on Twitter. Follow today. It's free. And speaking of lettering, how about laughing out loud at your base? I like this one from Penta X. He puts the LOL on there. Obviously, there's so much potential with a lot of grass available, you guys. 50 squares of grass. I think you guys can do even better than LOL. Noel is up next with a simple but attractive design right here. Kind of that garden feeling. I like that. So, Noel, thank you for that picture. Very cool, simple, but tasteful. Next up, another one of my favorites. This one was definitely the funniest one I saw right here. I've made some L's because that's what I take every battle. I'm sorry, Jeffrey, but you're cracking me up, buddy. I love it. The two L's there for uh, being a loser but you're not you're, you're not a loser you're a winner in my book buddy you are all right keep telling yourself that okay next up we've got one from jeremiah uh relatively simple again but at least he did put some effort into it uh, again i'm hoping to see more and more interesting ideas from you guys and uh, we're gonna wrap up this attack from double down right here against one of the top players in the world 911 somebody's calling 911 because double down got the triple all right, next up, check this one out. This just happens to be a replay with some creative grass or, well, the guy's cleared everything but the grass off of his base. Pretty cool right here. Ben the Human from Night Mode Clash going in with a mass air attack. But this right here is going to be my winner for the episode. Congratulations to the Goose 4215 for the best looking grass layout that I've seen yet. This one, the Goose, is getting a gift card, Google Play or iTunes DM coming his way as long as he follows me on Twitter. If he doesn't follow me on Twitter at Galadon Gaming, then he's gonna miss out, so we'll have to see. All right, so Ben the Human wiping his way through this base with the Meta Minion attack. And now we're going to get down to the questionable grass, and I want you guys to help me out with this. I have a feeling that this player may have been banned for this. Now, there's a couple of reasons I say that. First of all, if you go look for the clan Starlight City, 
it no longer exists. Now, I don't know this guy's player hashtag, but if you guys can find it, let me know if he's still out there. Because the other reason I suspect that he may be gone is the fact that this was put up, this picture showed up relatively soon after the Builder Hall Village was released. And the grass doesn't grow that fast, you guys. It doesn't sprout out so quickly that you could have done something like this. I don't think, personally, this could have been done at all within the given time after the Builder Village was released. So I have a feeling that this guy cheated somehow. Maybe some sort of hack. I honestly don't know for sure, but he appears to be gone. And uh, that grass appears almost to be artificial. Now, if you count it, it is possible that, that that much grass was appearing on the base, but to get it so that you could mow it down to that exact setup in just a few days, because this picture showed up a, a while back, you guys. It wasn't like it just showed up today or yesterday. It's been a week or two at least since it showed up, and uh, I don't know. So again, let me know. Help me find out. Is this player banned? Is he gone? Was he a cheater? Or do I need to send him a gift card? Because if he really exists and he knows who I am, I'm happy to send him a gift card for a very, very cool base. And, and hopefully, hopefully he didn't get banned. Now, speaking of getting banned, please, you guys, don't do anything offensive with your grass. Because if you recall, people used to get banned for making offensive base designs on the home village with their walls. I mean, you can get a lot more creative with that many wall pieces. <laughs> But don't do it, okay? So don't make offensive grass pictures. Don't spell out bad words. Uh, your parents wouldn't be happy with you. And neither will the folks at Supercell who have been known to temporarily or even permanently ban players for repeated violations of creating what they call offensive base designs. And I've seen one or two on Twitter already, you guys. So again, be careful. You don't want to lose your account over something stupid like that. All right, speaking of... Stupid, no, not speaking of stupid. Speaking of amazing, check out Stole and another three star from Night Mode Clash, you guys. I'm telling you, this clan is amazing, full of streamers and content creators. And uh, right here, we're looking at another attack. This one from Namix Nico. And uh, again, we've talked about this before the meta minion attack. Probably going to stay very, very strong at Builder Hall 5. Obviously, Builder Hall 6 brings a whole new wide world of options. But that's one of the fantastic things about the Builder's Village, you guys. You need to remember that we're always growing. We know that Builder Hall 7 is going to come. Builder Hall 8 is out there somewhere in the Ethernets. And uh, could it be Builder Hall 9, 10, 11? I feel like it's just a matter of time, you guys, before those things come. Now, also, let me know what you guys think of the fact that the clock tower was nerfed. I'm actually, uh, I had to address this. Uh, maybe it belongs in its own episode at some point. But man, you guys, the clock tower gets nerfed. And already people were complaining about the slow progression of the Builder Hall Village. And then they go and nerf the clock tower. The one thing that helps speed things up for you. I don't know. I mean, personally, I, I feel like a lot of people were already complaining about the slow progression. So to do something like this is just going to make players even angrier. Uh, kind of a dangerous thing just because the Builder Village wasn't the best received update of all time. Although, personally, I really enjoy it. Um, obviously, a lot of people didn't like it so much. So we're just about down to the end of this attack right here. Just a couple of minions on their way in as they close in on that archer tower. They will see an untimely death. But not before they get Namix Nico up to a solid 88% damage. There they go, archer tower taking those two guys out. And that's the end of Nico's attack. So again, you guys, send in those base designs to Galadon Gaming and help me be a detective on this one. See if we can find this guy. Does he still exist out there or not? Thank you guys, as always, for watching all the way to the end of this episode. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. Ring that bell for me, would you? Come on. Have a fantastic rest of your day, Galafam, and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Oh.
I'll ring your bell. 